Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, then welcome. My name is Christina and on my channel, we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So before you go, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Today, we are going to be swatching and reviewing the brand new Makeup by Mario Super Satin Lipsticks. He recently came out with these, I believe earlier this week. And I bought a couple of shades. I think I bought around half of the shades that are available. So we're gonna be talking about them. I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna let you guys know my first impressions on these. So I have them right here. I bought eight of them and there are 18. So right under half of the collection is what I purchased. I got the shade Bronx Baby 917 Nolita Dumbo Soho. Uptown Girl, Harlem, and Rockefeller. So it says that these are a classic creamy satin lipstick with a soft sheen. Unique formula glides on with ultra comfort and grips lips in wearable shades curated by Mario. They break it down into nudes, pinks, peaches slash oranges, berries and reds. These currently retail for $28, so it's a little bit more up there in price. It also says that it delivers creamy, ultra comfortable color in one single swipe. And each shade name is inspired by a New York City neighborhood or area code because that's where Mario is from. Without further ado, let's go in with the very first one. I have these in order of how they have them swatched from lightest to darkest. I just went off of that. They all look very promising and I'm sure that all of them look amazing with the lip liners. So maybe we'll try some of those out today. Now let's talk about the unit a little bit. So it is a black unit. It's different from the creamy matte version of the lipsticks. Those are in white packaging while this one is in this black one. It is a black matte package, almost like a rougher texture. It's interesting. I don't like the way that these like rub against each other or how it feels. I know that's really random, but I just thought I would point it out because it's something that I noticed. They do have the magnetic closure here and then we have the lipstick right there and it does have Mario embossed in it. I think that's just such a good touch. I am a sucker for a brand new lipstick. I think that it may have a slight scent to it, just a slight sweet scent, unless that's my hair that I'm smelling, but I'm pretty sure it's like a very, very, very subtle vanilla scent. It's barely noticeable. So this first shade is the shade Bronx Baby and it's described as a soft, warm rose shade. Definitely pretty pigment and it swiped on really really easily. Now let's go ahead and put this on the lips. It applies very creamy. It goes on super easily. You don't really have to break any sort of seal within the lipstick tube. It feels very glidey. This is what the shade Bronx Baby looks like on me. It is a little bit more mauve than I anticipated. In the tube it doesn't look like it would pull so cool on me. I feel like it definitely looks more cool than I thought it would. It doesn't look bad but but it's definitely something that I think I'm going to actually have to use with a lip liner in order for me to feel like confident wearing this out, you know? It's interesting, this formulation almost feels like it's gripping onto the lips because it is that satin feel, but it doesn't feel slick like a lip oil or maybe like a lip balm, like a very thin lip balm type of deal. Doesn't feel like that, but you definitely still have that sheen that you expect from a satin lipstick. But like I said, it is a little bit more grippy. I would say it feels almost like a lip gloss without that super glossy finish. It's almost like what a lip gloss feels like once it's almost completely faded off of your lips. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I feel like this shade itself is kind of accentuating my lip lines that I have within my lips. I don't think that it makes my lips look dry, but I also don't feel like it's really plumping inside of those lip lines, which is typically something that I really like when it comes to a satin or hydrating lip color. I really enjoy the ones that kind of fill in those lip lines and glide over and make your lips look smoother. This isn't making them look smoother. If anything, I feel like my lip lines are more noticeable, but it could definitely just be this color. Let's actually pair this with one of his lip liners. I have four shades here. I love their lip liners. I think they're incredible. I have the shade Travis, Milk Chocolate, Toasty, and Daniel. And for this one, I think that I wanna pair it with the shade Toasty. I'm just gonna apply this to the lips real quick. I also wanna do a a little bit of Travis just to bring in a little more warmth to the lips because I was feeling like that lip color was a bit too cool. Okay and then I'm mainly going to focus this on the center of the lips and work my way outwards and just blend it into that lip liner. Here's what that lip combo looks like. Definitely more cool. I'm gonna say that this one probably isn't going to be my favorite. It looks gorgeous in the tube 
but for some reason, even alone without the lip liner, it's definitely translating a lot cooler on my lips, as you can see. Next up, we have this shade 917, which is described as a mid-tone warm rose shade. Here is 917. This one is definitely more up my alley. It's kind of what I expected Bronx Baby to be. This is for sure a little bit more warm, but you can definitely see a little bit of that rose peeking through. It's going to be more of that pinky rose rose shade versus being a pinky brown shade. I want to say that this one isn't accentuating my lip lines as much, but I definitely still feel like you can still see them. They're not getting filled in by any means. You can still definitely see them even through this satin finish. Now again, they don't look dry because of that finish. So this is what that looks like. Let's put a little bit of milk chocolate right on top of that so we can kind of see what it looks like when we define it with a darker lip liner. Here's what that lipstick looks like with the shade milk chocolate. I actually think it's really really pretty i like the different contrast with the more brown lip liner and the rosy tone i feel like it almost pulls out more of that rose tone out of the lip color i think it's really beautiful next we have the shade nolita this one is described as a mid-tone warm pink shade i think that this one is really pretty i think it's a very wearable pink shade i always say in these videos that i'm not a huge pink lipstick type of person i typically would go for a pinky brown more than i would just a regular pink shade Shade, but this seems more wearable because it is quite dark when it comes to a pink shade I think that it actually flatters my skin tone really nicely I still don't think that this would be my go-to shade But I think that it's really nice if I wanted to go more pink, but I still think it's really beautiful It almost leans towards a pinky berry shade, which I really enjoy next We have Dumbo which is described as a spiced rose This is actually the shade that I was most excited about the one that I I think personally that is going to be my favorite one so we will see how this wears now I really feel like the way that these are translating on my lips are definitely different from what they look like in the tube as well as the swatches on the back of my hand let me know if you guys agree I don't think I particularly have very pigmented lips naturally so it's interesting to me how much darker these are translating i could be completely wrong of course we have color theory and i know that it's going to look different on my face versus my hand but it's still like pretty much the same shade right because it's my hand I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Now we have the shade Soho. This one is described as a spiced coral shade. Here's the shade Soho on myself, and in this case, I think that it's probably best that this one is translating a little bit darker than it is on the back of my hand or in the tube, because this seems like a color that I'm going to want to wear a lip liner with if I wear this one out. It is more bright than I typically go for, and a lot more orangey, peachy than I typically go for. Now let's try this one with with a lip liner because I think that I would probably wear a lip liner with it anyways and I'm gonna use the shade Daniel to just line the outside of my lips and see if this makes this more wearable for me all right here is the shade Soho with that lip liner in Daniel I definitely think it makes it a lot more wearable I basically just tap this into the center of the lips and then I like blended it out with my fingers and while I do think this is really pretty we do lose a lot of that satin finish so keep that in mind if you're just gonna be like blotting these on it doesn't look like a matte lipstick it definitely still has a little bit of the hydration to it but it's not going to look like a true satin lipstick now we have the shade uptown girl which is described as a rusty orange red shade here's what that looks like on me i wouldn't usually go for this shade but i saw this and i thought that it looked very unique and it looked like it would be a fun color to swatch and something that i think that a lot of you would be curious to see what it looks like on the lips so i went ahead and picked it up it looks really pretty definitely very very bright so if you're not the type of person to go for bright orangey red shades this may not be the shade for you however if you are kind of just trying to get out of your comfort zone and try like a reddish orange this one i think is nice because it's not neon but it's still definitely a statement type of lip color i do feel like this is kind of accentuating my lip lines a little more because it is going to be a lighter brighter shade let's actually try this with a lip liner i recently purchased some of the elf cream glide lip liners so i'm gonna use this red one they don't have the names of the shades on them which is 
so ridiculous to me, but it's the red one. Here is that lip liner lipstick combo. I think that it made it slightly more wearable. It definitely adds a little bit more dimension to the outer portions of the lips. So you can see the clear definition of your lips against your skin tone. I think if you're going to wear this and you're a little bit more intimidated, use a darker red lipstick and that'll help kind of tone it down in a sense. But I did the same thing where I put it on the center of my lips and then I blotted it out with my fingertips and it looks really nice. And once again, it's not going to look as satiny in finish as if you were to use it all over the lips like the other shades. Getting into a darker red now, this is the shade Harlem and it's described as a warm brick red. Here's Harlem. While this one is described as a warm brick red, I would almost say that it's a little bit more bright than what I would describe as a brick red. When I think of a warm brick red, I think of something that's a little bit darker and a little bit warmer than this. This is very, very close to a true red on myself, but I still think that this is a little bit more wearable than a true red. Like I feel like this is like the slightly toned down version of a blue based red tone. I feel like out of all of the shades so far, this one is the one that not only doesn't accentuate the lip lines, but sort of like hides them under the lip color. And lastly, we have Rockefeller, which is described as a rich brick red. This one is very beautiful. I love how dark and rich this one is. Exactly as described, it is a rich brick red shade. I think it's beautiful and I also feel like this would be really beautiful blotted onto the lips as well as fully swiped and fully pigmented. Those were all the swatches for all of the shades that I picked up. I did take notes as I was swatching them on my lips with all of my thoughts. So let's get into my first impressions and my little review on these lipsticks. So I felt like the shades that I chose were really pretty. However, I felt like they didn't translate the same as they were in photos. Also from the bullet to my lips. Like I definitely feel like they looked very different on my lips than they did in the tube, even swatched on the back of my hand. Typically in the tube, lipsticks will look slightly different just because all the pigment is like concentrated into that bullet. But even on the swatch, it looked pretty different in my opinion. You guys let me know if you also agree with that. I'm sad that they like like seem to skip a pinky brown shade. Pinky brown shades are usually my go-tos. I feel like all of them were slightly more cool even though they do say that they have those warm tones. The most warm tones I think were in the reds and in the darker shades versus being in those more neutral shades. I don't feel like any of the nudes that I chose were like warm enough. Like they're described as warm shades but I wanted them to be warmer. You know what I mean? I don't know. That's definitely a personal preference thing. If you do like more neutral to cool tones though, they have really beautiful nudes for you. I really appreciate that one swipe pigmentation. I think that putting it onto the lips initially, breaking through that new lipstick like seal, super easy, glided on effortlessly. These are definitely supposed to be satin, not glossy lipsticks. So there's a huge difference there. The texture of course is going to be different than something like the Hourglass Glossy Bombs, the Tarte Maracuja Lip Oils, even the Makeup by Mario serums, like the lip color serums, you know, very, very different texture. Those are more glossy, balmy, while these almost apply like, man, I'm really struggling with this texture. So they apply like a typical hydrating lipstick, you know, like a traditional lipstick, but when they're on the lips, they almost feel slightly like a matte, like they seem to grip onto the lips in a sense, even though you still can see that shine and that satin finish on them. I think what I said earlier is the closest I can get to what the texture is like. They feel like what a lip gloss would feel like after it's just about faded completely on the lips. Like the residual feeling of a lip gloss, that's kind of what these feel like because they feel grippy, but they feel a little, little bit tacky. Not like a matte lip or anything like that. You definitely can feel these on your lips. So they're not gonna be weightless, but they don't claim to be weightless. So I didn't expect that. They almost feel a little bit thicker than some lipsticks. And because of that, I feel like the wear time on these are going 
going to be really nice. My biggest gripe with it though is the way that my lip lines looked. They didn't look accentuated per se, not in the same way that matte lipsticks can accentuate your lip lines, but they definitely didn't hide them. Like I feel like my lip lines were definitely noticeable and that's something that I personally would get a little annoyed with seeing it like in a mirror or something as I wear it throughout the day. And I'm just thinking about how it's going to fade throughout the day. Like, is it going to seep into my lip lines? Is it going to look more accentuated? I'm not sure. I will update you guys though in the description box. You know how some like hydrating lipsticks or lip products, when you're talking or if you apply too much, it kind of just travels and gets on your teeth. I don't foresee that happening with these lipsticks as often as other lipsticks because of how grippy it is on the lips. I, I really don't think it's like a slippery type of texture. They don't seem extremely glossy. They're going to give you a little bit more hydration. I would say this is more of a traditional bullet lipstick look. Like if it weren't labeled anything like a matte or suede or anything, I would just say that this is a traditional lipstick. So nothing to write home about in my opinion. Personally, I don't know how often I'm going to be reaching for these because of the way they make my lip lines look. I'm just so, so picky about that. But if you don't tend to have that issue, if you don't really mind that or you don't have lip lines that like bother you like I do, then I think this is a solid lipstick choice. For $28, I do think it is kind of pricey, but I'm a big fan of Makeup by Mario products and I know that they are quality products. The way that I kind of see it is this seems like a new core basic or essential portion of the Makeup by Mario line. I don't think that this is anything super unique. I don't think that this is a brand new like technology of lipsticks. I just think that it's a really good addition because they have their suede lipsticks, they have their lip shine serums, they have their shiny lip colors, and now they have a satin which is going to sit right in between those. So I think this is a really good addition to like the core of their makeup, you know? Those are all my thoughts on these Ultra Satin Lipsticks from Makeup by Mario. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys are going to be picking up any of these shades, if this is something that you are interested in, or if it's something that you've decided you're gonna go ahead and skip. I would love to know if this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.